Hey everybody, it's Smurgle, and uh, today there was clarification on those legendary items that I showed in the video like the day before yesterday. And um, if you remember in those, it was tokens to create a legendary. And I thought, hey, this is pretty good. And many of you expressed your ideas like, of course, buying a legendary removes the legendary feel of it. But at the same time, I think the legendary feel was gone a long time ago when you just randomly got them. You can kill a, a friggin' pig and get a legendary. So, I mean, you're, you're talking about legendaries that drop off almost anything. They're kind of already not legendary. They're just epics with a different color. But anyways, aside from the opinions about how they were obtained and stuff, um, there was <laughs> clarification on what those tokens are. And oh my gosh, it's not a ketchup mechanic. <laughs> if anything, it's the farthest from a ketchup mechanic you can get. So, I thought those tokens were going to be available and you'd purchase them with like Argonite or just some form of currency related to Argus and make them, you know, expensive and somewhat of a grind to obtain. But it's not at all. <laughs> the way you obtain them is you get those tokens after your character has literally every legendary in every spec. So, yeah, you have to have absolutely every legendary. And that means if you're playing, for instance, Warlock, if you're playing Demonology, you have to have the Affliction and the uh, Destruction legendaries, as well as every Demonology legendary to start obtaining these tokens. And the tokens can be sent to your alts. I assume it generates a random token, which is just more RNG at the end of the day, because I doubt it It takes into smart uh, thinking that, hey, you don't have a legendary on your alt warrior, so I'm going to give you a warrior token. I feel like it may just give you a mage token, even if you don't have a mage, or anything of that matter. But it's just so... Even if you have, it's for the people that have every legendary already. It's so that they can still have the experience of getting a legendary drop again. That, that's what this is for. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sorry if I'm laughing. I know it's not funny, but I played a lot in Legion. I've definitely slowed down a whole bunch, but I'm telling you, I was running like 60 to 70 Mythic Pluses a week at least. I, that was the minimum. Um, I was running every LFR, every raid, all kinds of stuff. I, I was playing a lot, and I still only have maybe, maybe half of my legendaries across all specs. Two-thirds, I'd say, at best. But I'm still missing a lot of legendaries, and I played a lot. I mean, I'm not even covering it up. I know life for a long time on Legion content, so I don't really... I mean, I get that there's people out there that were lucky enough to happen upon all these legendaries. I mean, one of my guildies on the Horde side, on the, um, you know, where you can see the people's history and things that are happening, the news page of your guild tab, he received like five legendaries in three days. So, I mean, I know there's people out there that did get a lot, and they did get lucky, but for the most part, the majority of the people are not at max legendary, so it seemed... I mean, I guess I see why it's there. It's for the people that were lucky, but <laughs> there's apparently not a catch-up mechanic being implemented, or at least not one that I can see. Um, and that's what the Q&A said. It's for the people that got every legendary. So, sorry if I gave you false hope. I had false hope, too. Um, it was just in the data mine, and it made sense. I thought that's what it was going to be. I guess not. <laughs> I was as far away as could be possible. So thank you for watching, I apologize that it didn't turn out to be what I said, and I will see you again real soon. Bye bye.